I want to show you a little three minute clip. Of the minister that Dr. King was going by his house for dinner. He was due at seven, but they had to move it up because seven would be a little too dark to shoot somebody. So they moved it to six o'clock. Two years ago at a press conference in Memphis, I get a call. And they said, so-and-so, so-and-so is thinking about killing so-and-so, so-and-so. I said, what? Well, he said something at a press conference, said, put him on the phone. I said, whatever you do, get that film. Because once NBC realized what this brother could slip and say, we will never get our hands on the film. What you're fixing to see now went into the evidence in the King trial where they brought a wrongful death suit now. Explain that to you quickly in a minute. But what you're fixing to witness now is the, the man who came by to get King to take him to dinner. And 30 years later at a press conference, he slipped because God do baffle your mind sometimes. You look. geared especially for the young uh, who did not have a chance to, to get to feel or to know what the civil rights movement actually was about. Even as they marched, now they could have uh, stopped in a hotel, but when you think about marching from Memphis to Jackson or Jackson to Memphis, there were no hotels. You, you stayed in churches, you stayed in people's homes, and, and, and that's how we got over, that's how we got through. Uh, the struggle was a very, it was a spiritual struggle. You couldn't pay people to do what we had to do. You couldn't pay people to stand before mad dogs and fire hoses and, and billy clubs and, and cattle prods. It was strictly uh, a spiritual and moral movement. So we wanted that dimension to be in the pilgrimage to Memphis. We will revisit the mountaintop speech site. That's the Mason's Temple where Dr. King made his last address, which he almost didn't make, because the night that uh, we were having that rally, there were tornado warnings, and he was behind on the Poor People's Campaign. And he said, you guys go on over and have the rally. I'm going to stay at the motel and work on the Poor People's Campaign. When we got there, and Dr. Abernathy walked in, and Jesse Jackson walked in, and I walked in, and others, people started clapping because they thought Martin was behind us. And so Ralph's preacher sent, said to him, this is not our crowd. And he went to the phone and called Dr. King and said, any of the marches that, 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 that we had in those days, you have an opportunity to bring the children and bring the family and march with us. And when I finished sharing with them the last hour of Dr. King's life, a hurry. But that gave me the wonderful privilege of spending the last hour on earth. Three preachers in a room. Abernathy, King, and Kyle, and we spent that last hour together in room 306 at the Lorraine Motel. The press is always curious, and writers, what went on? What did you talk about? I say, we just talk preacher talk. What preachers talk about when they get together? Y'all pay real attention and all to what you're fixing to hear now. About a quarter of six, we walked on the balcony, and he was talking to people in the courtyard. He stood here, and I stood there. Only as I moved away, so we could have a clear shot, the shot rang out. Thank you. I turned around and then knocked him back on the balcony. Listen. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, listen, listen. His brother never realized that he would slip and say that. Do you know what happened when you're sitting in a jewelry room 
about a conspiracy and this piece of film is introduced. I stood, he stood here, I stood here only as I moved away so he could have a clear shot. The shot rang out. Man. This was the brother that he was going by his house for dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I said, my brother Matt, if you will have a copy of this tape, I'll get it back to you. And what you should do is make copies. See to it, because this is a very valuable. And y'all need to send this tape to people all over this country. Thank you.